Hey there, I am Ina Speak Simply Malekish, and this is my channel, and I enjoy sharing about sex, relationship, and intimacy one bite at a time. My service to you thrives on your participation with me. So sharing, subscribing, liking, uh, commenting, these are very important, so please do so. And I am available in office and remote sessions, and you can contact me through this page. So today's topic is, are you dreaming big enough? And it's an inside job. So when I say it's an inside job, I just mentioned that to a client the other night. And he said, what do I mean by that? It's an inside job. No matter what is going on around us, COVID-19 that we're still dealing with, no matter if you're having financial challenges because of it, and many people are, if family, events, uh, friends who um, are going through difficulties and come to you, or a, an adult child who's dealing with divorce. I mean, there are so many exterior events that can affect our life. The only thing we have control over is our attitude and approach about them. It's an inside job. My attitude, my approach to the event. And now, the event is not my life. Very important you realize, whatever the events are that took place in your life, the events are not your life. It's how you dealt with those events. Did you learn from them? Did you grow? Did you become a better person? Did you spiritually evolve? Did you discover something about yourself that you didn't like? And you've been doing it most of your life and you've decided, wow, I'm going to stop that. It could be little things like someone cutting you off on the freeway. And I don't know about you, but there are times when I have a dirty mouth, you know, and my energy and I can feel myself flame on. And then I have to talk myself down and I have to slow down because I have pedal to the metal. You know, I'm that grandmother from Pasadena and I, I like to, to move. It's much easier. But the reality is attitude and approach is my responsibility. Now, am I dreaming big enough? And I would say to you, none of us are dreaming big enough. We are so much more. Great Spirit says to us, we are so much more than what we are dreaming ourselves to be. No matter how big you dream yourself to be, no matter how much you are accomplished and you are choosing to accomplish more, it's still not dreaming yourself big enough because we are capable of so much more. I'm not talking about stressing out. I'm not talking about burning out. I'm not talking about working 16 hours a day because if you, if you work with maximum efficiency with minimum effort, remember that maximum efficiency, minimum effort, then you can accomplish so much more than you realize. The other thing that helps you dream bigger is if you connect to something greater than yourself. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm a very spiritual person. And my relationship with a higher power is something that I tap into multiple times a day. Multiple times. And I have stopped myself from just uh, full bore ahead and have stopped and I have prayed and I've said, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this what you want me to be doing, Great Spirit? And oftentimes it's no. So it might be, you don't need to eat anything right now. You've already had lunch. Go and work on the project that excites you. It could be anything, especially if you are dealing with any kind of an addiction. You can pray in the moment and you can ask, is this really how you want me to live my life? But even those of you who have no addiction whatsoever, you might find that how you're living your life, how you're engaging with your children or with your significant others or with your friends or with who you work with, you can improve it. 
It could be more mellow. It could be more kind. It could be more loving. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, flower child, flower power, where everything is sweet. Yes, of course, there are times that we have to speak the unspeakable. We have to share what is in our heart. We have to maybe confront someone or an event or an activity or a group of people that we don't agree with. And we realize that there's something really negative here. Or there is, I have, I have dealt with people that I've seen abusing their children. And I have stopped to defend that child. Is it any of my business? Yes, it is my business. Because I am here as a woman on this planet. And I am here to defend a child. So there's a place in our heart when we know it's time to step up. When we know it's time to dream a bigger dream and to change our attitude and approach to anything that presents itself. Because with a change of attitude and approach, that's an inside job. No matter what somebody thinks about me, I'm at a point in my life where I actually don't care. Now, if there is truth to what they're saying, I certainly will take it with a grain of salt. I will hear the reflection they have, and if I can learn from it and become a better person, I will. But if someone is just having a bad day and is not feeling good and they're dumping on me, I don't have to participate and I don't have to believe it, and I can just turn around and walk away. I was sharing with a friend today at coffee and where she had a friend actually take advantage of her Amazing artists spent hours and hours and hours, you know, 20, 30 hours on producing some things. And this woman like paid her $200. It was worth 2000 So first of all, the original agreement was not made properly. Second of all, rather than holding a resentment that goes on for weeks and weeks and months and maybe years, if you have a resentment and you keep thinking about it, it doesn't hurt the other person at all. It's hurting you. And I suggest that you get paper and pen and you write to that person and you say, I just want to clear this for myself, that when we had this agreement about this painting or this, this construction project or whatever it is, it happens in business a lot, that I am not asking you to reimburse me, but this is the value of the job. This is how much it would have cost if you had paid me in full. And I'm not asking for that. I'm just needing to write this, to speak the unspeakable, to speak my truth, so I can get off my own resentment. That person, in reading that, maybe that'll be the first time that anyone was ever that honest with them. They may decide to reimburse you, but that's not why you write it. There's no hidden agenda here. We don't want to hold resentments. It's an inside job. If I am feeling resentful internally, it's only hurting me. It's not hurting that other person. So something that I have been doing, and the first time I did this, it was reading uh, something in a Reader's Digest. And it said, if you're angry at anyone, if you're holding a resentment, write them a letter. And I did that. And it was so freeing. I apologize for what I could own of what my part of that was. And that was what was most important. Not if they accept the apology or not, but I had to do what I needed to do so I could be clear inside. I want my internal being not to get sick with disease and to bring me to the point of death because I'm so um, contaminated inside. I'm so negative inside with my hurts and resentments and, and blaming everyone else. I would rather take responsibility for my life recognize my peace, even if it's just that big, my peace that I didn't make a good agreement, I didn't speak the unspeakable, and when I did cop a resentment, maybe justifiably so, I didn't clean it up. So I invite you with, are you dreaming big enough to dream bigger? Realize it's an inside job. Anything you put your mind, not brain, the brain is in the body, the body is in the mind, the mind is something that connects to spirit. I invite you, even if you have not prayed in a long time, if you've not connected to anything spiritual in a long time, the time is now. 
with the challenges that are going on on our planet, the time is now. And the more you can open up your heart, your mind, your soul, and listen to that quiet voice of great spirit, you can be guided and your life can become better. And what a joyous thing to know that you are capable of making your life as good as you desire it to be, as fulfilled as you desire it to be. Now, I'm not saying there won't be hills and valleys and there won't be some challenging times. Of course there will. That's life. This is not a Pollyanna. This is taking control of your life and making it as best as you possibly can. And when something negative happens, it's an inside job. What's my piece of it? And what is my attitude and approach to it? And how can I, with tenacity, continue to make my life better? So I invite you to look at my bio and see the other platforms I am on. And I just really want to thank you for watching this video and blessings to you.